Pessi Chinwo and Atarane Bessi is looking for me. I have two words for you. Did I lay an allegation against them? Did I say that Atarane Bessi committed adultery? Did I say that Messi Chinwo committed adultery? All I said was, let them do DNA. With due respect, I am very sorry, Nathaniel Bassi and Mercy Chinwo, you are like a father and a mother to me, and you guys are ministers of the gospel. I was carried away by bloggers, but I am not justifying my actions because it is humanity to human. But please give me a second chance. And this won't repeat itself again. It's a promise. Please just understand that it was not a deliberate act, but please temper justice with mercy. And I will join you and serve your God. Now I have repented and followed Jesus. No more idol worship. Please be my spiritual guardian so I won't miss the track again. I want to follow Jesus because in him there is life. Please, I'm very sorry. <laughs> now, this is coming from the guy, one of the guys that uh, accused, or he didn't say he's accused in any way. Uh, he said that it was simply, simply. You're going to hear from him. You're going to hear from him. He said that it was simply, you're going to hear more, that it was simply suggesting to the father, husband, <laughs> now, this, 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 this thing is crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Now, I'm not against DNA. I'm not against someone calling out this other person, asking for DNA and all of that. It's not a, it's not a problem. That's not a big issue. We cannot uh, input, impute sentiment into reality of our life. Regardless of if you love the person, you like the person, music, Christian, body again, usher, choir, chorister, pastor, none of those things makes any difference. Integrity has to be tested. That is true. But the way this guy put out this thing, this is not the first time he said it. Something like this. There was a time he went against, after, attacked a comedian. And he had to apologize when he realized that the strong hand of the law was going to descend upon him. Now, he did the same. Calling out that Fanny Bassi a Christian music, gospel singer, and Messi Chiwo, a gospel singer, and Messi Chiwo's husband, a pastor, claiming that the child that Messi Chiwo gave birth to looks so much like that of the Basi, and that, uh, you know, these people have always been around each other. There is a possibility that Messi Chiwo decided to do what they call send off to a married man. You know, Nathaniel Bassi is married too. That Messi Chiwo decided to do what they call send off and eventually ended up having a child. You know, that kind of conspiracy. He, he, he threw out all of this narrative and he said, no, I was not really. I was not really. I was not really. He, he continued. He said, for those who now, when they insult me and abuse me, saying I am not a man, why did I apologize? The so una I very dark black man in day for detention for nine days. I do things to please myself. I do things to please myself so you can unfollow me. As far as I am concerned, I'll be apologizing to Nathan Obasi official, Messi Chiwo, till they forgive me. Now Una push me for this problem. And you want me not to apologize so I can be used as a scapegoat. Well, the thing is this already um Nathan Bassi took action. Let us listen to this man so that you will find out if he really has a contrite heart. Or he's just putting this idol worship. I will not be following idol again. I want you to forgive me. I am a Christian. This guy, I don't think he has a contrite heart. Not at all. I don't think he has a contrite heart like he is feeling bad about it. And also, uh, that someone is being called out for DNA and all of that on social media. Well, let us listen to what he has to say.
is for those people that will come on my comment section and become comment that Messi Chinwo and Atalanta Bessi is looking for me. I have two words for you, my brother. The way you take a comment on my post, say Messi Chinwo they find for me. If not the same energy you put for your life, if I don't become a successful person. If not the same energy you take tackle your family problem, you for them become a successful person. So who told you I've not seen the post? Why must you come on my comment section and tell me Messi Chingo and Natanya Basi are looking for me? Did I say anything bad? Did I lay an allegation against them? Did I say that Natanya Basi committed adultery? Did I say that Messi Chingo committed adultery? Or God, before you come on my comment section, go and study your constitution and law. I never laid an allegation. On Mr. Chinwo and tell Mr. Chinwo that she committed adultery or Natanya committed adultery. What I said was let them do DNA. If DNA is cheap, every family could have been doing DNA once they're born. Let's tell ourselves the truth and let's call a spade a spade. Mr. Chinwo husband, go and do DNA on that yourself before it becomes too late. Mr. Chinwo husband, go and do that your son DNA. Before it becomes late, I don't want to hear judgment or justice for this person or this person. Like I'll be fathering somebody's child. Go and do DNA test. I don't know what Nathan Ebasi's face is doing on your son's face. That your son will resemble you. He will resemble Mr. Chingo. What is concerned your son with Nathan Ebasi? You guys will see the pictures of this guy on this video. Or go, go and go and search for the picture. You see that this boy does not even resemble Nathan um, uh, Mr. Chingo's back. If you don't do DNA now, you will end up training another man child on this world. I'm passing this message across to Mercy Chimo, the gospel artist. I'm passing this message to her husband and him and herself. I want you guys to share this video so Mercy Chimo husband will see this video. Now, there's something I want to tell you guys. Stay tuned. Now, she, she surfaced her, her son face yesterday on the internet. Everybody saw it. I saw it. But if you can tell yourself the truth, now, 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 it did not just stop there. It went further. Let us watch what this one has to say. It blessed it for Nigeria and I, eh? because of uh, anybody where just get money could they misbehave. It be like say, when I don't know the meaning of opinion. I have my opinion about some, this, my opinion not be lie, and my opinion not be crime. I I not support people coming out to overstress some kind of things like oh, go and do DNA tests and go and do all those things. But you see this picking. That child actually looks like Nathan Ebasi when you compare the picture. Me seeing that and talking about it not be crime. More than 200 million Nigerians can see that that picking. Not me may release the picture. Now who born picking release the picture? Then I see that the PK resemble Nathan Yebasi. Then you expect me to apologize to you. Oh, I don't know the meaning of opinion. Am I okay? Now they, 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 they talk, talk turn a blind eye. I know they turn blind eye to uh, there's my opinion does not suggest that there's a crime or anything. The PK resemble Nathan Yebasi. Now, wow. I'm crying already. If you cry, what do you want me to <laughs> This is how God wants to honor you. Eh? It's a special day. Oh. So on behalf of the entire Oasis, we want to say happy anniversary and that you will share your baby testimony very soon. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, you've heard from different uh, parties. Some say they have opinion. And some people said, oh, the only thing I said was that this child looks like Nathaniel Bassi. I didn't say this child belongs to Nathaniel Bassi. 
insinuation. Some do not understand the formation of character. Some do not uh, understand some. I, I know that saying this child looks like Nathaniel Bassi is an insinuation. But you have not finally concluded. And if you are taken to the court, it will not hold water. It's not possible for the court to now say, because you said the child looks like Nathaniel Bassi, it means that you are saying that the child belongs to Nathaniel Bassi or is the biological father. But uh, the other man, <laughs> he said, what is the face of this baby doing on Nathan Abbasi? And what is Nathan Abbasi's face doing on the baby's face? Vice versa. <laughs> people look alike. These things are possible that people look alike. And it's also possible that Things like that do happen. There are a lot of secrets in this world. But it is in the place of the man. I'm sure he's not blind. It is in his place to decide if DNA should be done or not. But, you know, social media in-law, social media trolls, and you know how it is. They will always say something. This one is that, that one is this. People at times they are not happy when they say happy people. They just want to throw in some dirt into their lives, make them unhappy, say words that are derogatory. You know, this will be on social media. And I'll tell you this for free. It will repeat itself again after some time. That child, someone will post the picture of that child when that child is maybe three years old or thereabout. Someone will post a picture of this child again and still compare Nathaniel Bassi to that child. Now, the reason this DNA of a thing is sending waves all over social media, I'm not saying that I'm in support of these people that came out saying that Nathaniel Bassi, accusing Nathaniel Bassi of infidelity and also accusing Messi Chingwo of being in that, you know, light. I'm not saying it's a good thing. Hmm, this DNA of a thing is as a result of the demise of Promise Ilerolua Aloba, aka Moba, the Nigerian upcoming music artist that passed away in a gruesome manner and everything is tied to DNA. There are several people in Nigeria. In fact, there is this guy, is it called Ned or Nedu? That's his name. He has this podcast. He's a radio presenter. He, he was in court, happily married. I think he has about three or four kids. Well, you know the shocker. About three or thereabout do not belong to him. Only one belongs to him. <laughs> so things happen. Things happen. We do not need to include sentiment like, oh, why are you people? That's foolishness. Many women that do not support DNA are women that are, you know, those are the kind of women, association of women that run away from DNA. And I understand how this affects the family. Um, I mean, the union. If a man begins to talk about DNA, it means that you have accused that woman and you're suspicious of her. It doesn't make things work. Even if a man, I would advise men, if you want to involve yourself in that, Please, you don't need to talk to the woman about it unless that child is not with you. If you live in the same, under the same roof, don't need to accuse the woman of infidelity. These kids are not mine. Just take a swab or shut up. Take a swab secretly. Get the DNA done for your own peace of mind. If that is what you want to do, stop making this, you know, DNA thing. Although you are kind of making people get aware, You're making people become aware of it. But get a swab and do your thing privately. It's as simple as that. But, uh, you know, these guys, <laughs> you have said too much. Oh. And since they have decided to take action, you have apologized to them. But you say you know the law. You say you know the law that you didn't say this is the father. You, the thing is that you, you have talked too much. You have opened your mouth too much. And there are consequences. There are consequences. Um, Nathan is not going to feel happy. His relationship with Chimu will be strained. And he will now be sort of cautious about that 
relationship, either they are friends or music, whatever it is, he will always want to kind of package himself because he knows that people are now attaching him to a child that he might not have business with. You see? This is the kind of world that we live in. What do you guys think of this one? Drop your comment.